Sir Edmund Haley. He was a man obsessed with the mysteries of the universe and determined to solve as many of them as he could. Born in London, England in 1656 to a wealthy soap maker and landowner, he demonstrated an early aptitude for math and astronomy. Before attending St. Paul's School, he received private tutoring at home, and when he enrolled at Queen's College, Oxford, he brought with him a collection of astronomical instruments that his father had purchased for him. Haley made significant observations while at Oxford, including an occultation of Mars by the moon, and published papers on the solar system and sunspots. He was even a pupil of the royal astronomer John Flamsteed. Haley abandoned his studies in 1676 and sailed for the South Atlantic island of St. Helena. He cataloged 341 stars in the Southern Hemisphere, discovered a star cluster in Centaurus, witnessed the first Mercury transit, and realized that a similar Venus transit could be used to calculate the size of the entire solar system. During his voyage, he also improved the sextant and documented observations about the ocean and the atmosphere. However, Halley's true claim to fame came in 1682 when he observed a comet in the night sky. Although comets have been observed for centuries, Halley was the first to notice that this particular comet had a very predictable orbit. He began studying the comet's movements and discovered that it had a 76-year orbit using mathematical calculations. This was a game-changing discovery because it had never been demonstrated the comets had predictable orbits before. Haley was determined to prove that this comet was the same one seen in previous years. He spent the next several years researching historical records and observing the comet during its next appearance in 1682. He gathered data on the comet's position and motion, and using this information, he was able to confirm that it was indeed the exact same comet seen in previous years. Haley published his discoveries in a 1705 paper titled A Synopsis of the Astronomy of Comets. He presented evidence in this paper that comets were not random events, but rather had predictable orbits. He also predicted the comet that we all saw that day would then reappear in 1758. He knew that he wouldn't be alive to witness this apparition, and he had no desire for personal fame of his prediction coming true. He did hope, though, that future generations would not refuse to acknowledge that this was discovered by an Englishman. On Christmas Day, 1758, the comet was indeed seen. It returned at roughly 76-year intervals between 1835 and 1910. His prediction was proven correct. After that, the comet was named after him, and it is now known as Halley's Comet. This was a significant achievement in the field of astronomy, and it cemented Halley's place in scientific history. His discovery changed our perception of comets and their role in the solar system. His contribution to science was not limited to just his work on this comet, though. Throughout his life, he made numerous other astronomical observations and discoveries, such as studying the motions of planets and stars and proposing a method for determining longitude at sea using the position of the moon. In addition, he was a fellow of the Royal Society and the second Astronomer Royal. Sir Edmund Haley was a pioneering figure in the field of science and his unwavering pursuit of knowledge and determination to unravel the mysteries of the universe led him to make groundbreaking discoveries, including the prediction and return of Haley's Comet, and it is now known as one of the most famous comets in the entire solar system, according to mankind, and his work continues to inspire future generations of scientists. Until a year before his death, Sir Edmund Haley made a weekly river trip to London for a gathering of friends at Child's Coffee House before proceeding to a Royal Society meeting. The years had begun to take their toll, though. Haley had no teeth. He ate only fish. That's according to one contemporary of the time. 
His right hand was partially paralyzed. And when the Astronomer Royal died, he was sitting in his chair at the Greenwich Observatory. January 14th, 1742, Sir Edmund Haley left this earth, but he left a legacy that will stand the test of time. These are interesting things with J.C.,